Good morning everyone and welcome back to the next uh, attempt at refactoring old shit. So yesterday we have ended with a uh, fav icon hopefully running. Um, we do have our CI pipeline and uh, when I came to it today and just you know started everything backed up um, the deployed version is running but locally I get this and I have no idea why. So let's debug. And um, as you can see, CSS and skins should be loaded. We see no error. It's just the layout that's broken. And this doesn't have anything to do with uh, uh, responsiveness, it seems. Uh, let's see what Inspect element says. If it's displayed correctly, just the left and right layout is not exactly left and right. And it has a correct order. Uh, let's take a look. So in the main diff. There is this guy, which uh, wraps the uh, flex, and then main that has order one, left that has order zero, and right that has order two. Out of curiosity, uh, let me take a look uh, in Chrome. Chromium, I mean. And let's see whether it works any better. And it does, which brings, brings a question of... Um, I have been updating Firefox meanwhile, I think. I mean, or rather, I have been updating system. Um, also, just let me take a look, because I think that uh, I am... Um, not uh, broadcasting, but okay, actually, I should be. Yeah, good. So, um, this is correct in Chrome. Uh, let's never translate this site. Well, it is not connecting for some reason. What is not connecting? There is something that is broken, so... Let's see if we take a look at network and reload. My icon is pending, which is correct since we since I don't have uh, this production data mirrored. Um, so that times out, but otherwise it is okay. So we broke here. Of note, there is not even a background. So mm, the way it looks like, it, uh, I would guess that my 
skin CSS loaded, but not the main CSS. Uh, so let's just take a look. Wait, no. Vice versa, but why is... This is the skin one. Reported as unbodified. Uh, we are talking to the correct server. Um, if we delete cache, which apparently is now done using a different. Um, shortcut so if we go uh, I think that I can clear uh, well this will let me out from github let me eat start with cache content. If we clear the cache content and take a look, then it works. So it was a weird cache glitch, which was probably caused because I um, this opened before the server was running. So I assume this is what caused the problem. Nice. Um, so, you see, when developing virtual caches. Alright, um, so let's take a look what was uh, next for us. Um, and let's start from the project. So we had the parser, and parser is actually what I th think was uh, where we had the initial version. Hello. And um, we need to take a look. Uh-huh, so back in June we had the render HTML insecurely. And I think that we had a branch for that. So that's probably a good place to continue. Uh, so Parser it was. Uh -huh. And the parent of that. This was the meat. So we are going through the entities. Check for stuff. We do have some tests. So let's just also merge um, master in here and continue in the branch. Apparently uh, having two people uh, on the calls uh, strains my upload. Okay, uh, so that was test parser. Not. 
Test HTML. And we have tested all the uppercase and bolts and what why you have turned to this was that uh, we haven't right we haven't solved the more complicated BR variant with the safe version and we oh no. not really we more like me let me switch to uh, I since uh, you know not many people join me in programming. Uh, what I wanted to do is that right check whether what's happening to the database. Is there anything missing from the actual parser on the first hand? Because Sure, this is not uh, super, super safe, but I would give it a pass as the uh, current version if it would work. But as you can see, there are issues. So... Let's take a look at uh, how it works on the current site. Um, so this was under... Mistake. And first thing... That is not working. It's right. It's because people were using manual ATEX for navigation. And I also have a few weird, weird feeling that someone was using the using it just to get this highlight. Which of course um not great. Uh, but at the same time uh, we should roll with this. So it sounds like we should start by writing down a list of abuses people do. Uh, yeah, so those are A links without any attribute. Oh god, okay. Um, so let's create an issue and mark it to resolve random HTML abuses. Um, so noted abuses is uh, using a title a just for the highlights. is definitely for some very far future if you ask me. Um, uh, this should even go to the project. Uh, so okay and this got resolved weirdly and also let's take an additional look just to be sure it's in h2 and this almost brings question to me to look into the database to see whether it's not a mix of uh, escaped and non-escaped html uh, but let's just make sure that uh, 
this is done well, even for the simple case. So uh, let's test um, empty link. Well, let's test whether the link is in the allowed attributes because now that I think about it, I'm not sure. Okay, it is. Cool. So, um, text with um, and link. And this is going to should be escaped like this. So this should be the final result. Let me run only this test. So, can I do it this way? Nap. Uh, so, this is a test. Test HTML. Can I do it this way? Yep. So, this should give us an idea. And also, um, for the purpose of this, let me raise the login to info for the time being. will be, give me some reasonable term. Also, I did I think about it. Uh, I'm not sure my database is running on SSD and maybe actually worth to have like in memory MySQL for that, but um, never mind. So this is working well. So the problem is elsewhere. Um, so let's also verify this works when it's in the heading. Uh, so test link link in heading. And this was H2 if I'm not mistaken. Dramatic music. I should create like a background badumts. So this work. So uh, that is not a problem. So there's going to be something weird. in the source code and if I'm not mistaken we can take a look in the admin so Yep. So this is what's in and this is what should work. And that's the nested guy.
and I don't see how this is different. Then what we had before. Uh, except no trailing B. Wait. Oh, there is a trailing B. There is a trailing P, uh, and that is what we may have rendered here, causing problems. Okay, or not, but we have uh, rendered second slash A. Whereas here, the second slash A is not rendered, and in this case, the actual source may be different. So let's take a look. So, there is a There is a trailing P. That someone put in there is rendered. And it's possibly doing something and I don't know what. But no trailing A. Whereas in here we are Oh, we are escaping the A. And not rendering the trailing slash B. So this is the main content, so everything above and below should be uh, correctly open and closed. I think that that actually worked uh, on there. But... That is the main content, and uh, up until this table it's generated. Annotation, and here we have... Normal P. Okay, no language, yeah, I'm starting to confuse things. So the P is correct. Uh, except uh, except for some reason and this is p except for some reason we are escaping uh, the slush a and It's not the fault of the unsafe encode word creation HTML if we are using it. So let's take a look. So we are looking at a common article detail. Uh, I have a strange feeling it 
is the pipe safe that's doing this. Let's take a look. Which would make sense if you ask me. <laughs> um, Uh, right, no, it's the vice versa. Safe says that uh, this is safe and should be rendered. Never mind. But huh, but here you see that if you're not putting in the safe, so like uh, it's not escaping anything, we still get um, the incorrect. Escaping. Right. Let's look at source. This this is rendered. Um, how is this possible? So if you're not marking it as safe. Uh, so this is the output of the um, this is the output of the uh, our custom tag. Then uh, what we do have here, as well as on the result, is this incorrect um, a escaping. And but I. If you look at source, right, this happens because uh, the ampersand got double escaped. The ampersand got double escaped, but by whom? because it's not in the source code. Out of curiosity, if you would uh, remove our tag rendering, then Everything is double skip in the browser. I have a feeling that we should uh, take browser out of question, and the way you do it is to use scroll. And take a look at the output. Uh, and you can search using slash. So this is what you're getting over the wire. So even even here, so all ampersands are double escaped, which I assume is a jungle thing. And if we take our tag out of question, then yeah, if we mark it as safe, then it's rendered as it is. And the double escaping is not here. Uh, which, by the way, I do wonder that if we work on top of that safe string, whether we would taint it. One is a way to find out. Uh, if we are not making mistakes. So this gets us to the same result. 
and I do want to wonder how to test this. Uh, how to test a filter chaining because what worries me I mean unless this is caused by the rest of the uh, text which or this dangling P which one is a way to find out Let's uh, put it here. Not as expected. And this is a long text. Up. Let me put it back so we are not tainted. Okay, so because there are other issues as you can see. So based on this test, it's important to say where we are testing the unsafe um and see if and close word into the string uh, right where do we register the name again Don't do anything weird. That may be a problem. Uh, so uh, and reach him insecurely. Unsafe encode word creation HTML, which is exactly what we're having. Uh, and if I'm called creation and this string, this is um, exactly what we are doing. And so when we are testing this individual tag, everything works well. But when it's used in a template, uh, then the slash a gets escaped. So I have a feeling that we have to take a look at how exactly say string works. So this should be wrapped. Um, this is a wrapper. Uh, so I guess a better question is uh, how the 
escaping during render works. And also, you may have not uh, heard m much things out of that. Sorry. But I do not wonder so. <laughs> this looks. I mean, this looks like a Django escaping interaction. I'm thinking whether there is a good way to. Uh, test it like end to end. The other option, also maybe tinkering with this, uh, but I think that there should be a way to uh, test the complete template rendering. So let's take a look uh, whether Google knows something. Just no, I actually want to add a template. What we really want to do in this case is to really take a string without filling with the whole templates and test what that particular template uh, renders. I know that I've been doing that uh, once. So everybody's using a client here. <laughs> I mean. I could theoretically use a self vein. Use the test client um, and basically render the response uh, together. isn't in the template documentation possibly and API yes we have hopefully we compile the template code into a template so this is put Potentially, what we want to do. So, uh, let's start a new test case. Um, so, test unsafe HTML render template. And I'm going to borrow this one theoretically. 
Um, I could inherit, but what I want to do is actually like we may be fiddling with this. So I think that we'll copy paste sync is the correct way to do it. Um, string in this case is oh, yeah, we totally will be fiddling with this. Um, String is what comes from database. Expected is the render, and what we are missing is also templates, which in this case will be just a variable. Well, I mean, this is what we are going to be providing. And uh, we're going to have templates. And what was here? Uh, was giving a template to the template class. This will go up once we're up. Uh, well, actually, this is templates. Uh, the system plus string. Uh, so template string is what's provided to the templates. Uh, hopefully that should uh, retain all the configuration we have provided. And then uh, the final string uh, is templates dot render with a context and the context we have uh, decided to provide is the let's call it uh, how will we how will we call it entity let's let's call it full names so entity string String, so this needs to be the string. Um, this will not be used, so uh, and what we're rendering is um, no the string. Um, with the HTML and securely marked as safe. That's the important part uh, for us because otherwise it would not work. And this should give us this final result. So let's see whether it works here. This should give us like a proper end-to-end -end test. And uh, we need to load the function because this is full instant own template, uh, not just a fragment. Um, so this should give us uh, the as long as we are doing everything correctly. So dictionary doesn't have any attributes. Oh, because it uh, needs to be a context object. Okay. So context templates context Right. And voila, 
waiting for this to scan go up. Um, so, how about now? Excellent. So we have a failing test, that's a good start. Uh, let's comment it so I don't forget. rendering reference one I will to be amend this going forward but um, this is a solid starting point now the question is what uh, where to start Not marking it safe. I mean, what we could do. Um, this is where again breakpoints would be useful. So, uh, I guess this is really calling me to set it up. Um, one thing would be to take a look at that. Uh, safe filter whether uh, it's not doing some weird shit but This is calling a string on it. Um, this shouldn't have many of dire consequences, but uh, who knows? Yes, if it has a little bit of HTML, it's returned as is. Hmm. Assume that uh, so class Okay, I mean, I don't see any weird magic here. So I wonder if it really happens during render. Also, I mean, since you're only calling this once, we can just, uh, no, not commit, but uh, run the test. Um, that um, this looks like a problem with the run. Oh! So it's coming to it from our tech. So why is it not happening here? Like it is. What do I don't see? 
So those are the two functions. Right. Um, so also we are not exactly we're testing the function, but we are not exactly testing the template stack. Which is only doing this, so you know theoretically. This uh, shouldn't do anything TM, famous last words. But apparently there is something that is wrong. Let's see if I can call void creation HTML. I'm calling the same function. Am I? Render HTML insecurely. See the problem? So in the templates, I'm actually the whole time ca calling this incorrect function. Nice. Um, so, oh, I mean, let's fix this. to something better. Uh, well, I mean, um, we should be using in production what we thought. Let's um, call it that way. All right, so this seems fixed. See whether it works here. This looks better. Including the tables. Ha, huh, minus those. And that is because we don't recognize call spam and raw spam. Okay, so let's first fix this. Um, uh, sure, sure, I'm going to release it immediately. This potentially I should be able to push. Um, right, and I'm always using passwords from a different computer. Okay, and uh, this. Mm. 
This is not taking or spam into account. I mean, this one shouldn't be checking for parity even. So let's take a look again what's in the HTML. And uh, then I will have to end for today. I mean, for now, maybe not for today. Uh, so let's use this awesome feature. And the part here on is here. So table. Correct the R, correct the H, and this is where it breaks. I think that maybe because we don't have TH in recognized entities potentially, we do cross span, row span. Okay, uh, so I'm saying um, let's set it for now. Uh, here, uh, well, this is follow up, but what I want is uh, current uh, elements. Calls span, rows, span, and link. So that would be it for today. Um, this, I would say, is deployable uh, once the test finishes, uh, but let's do it together with the. Um, let's do it together with the fix for TH because that shouldn't be that hard. Um, thanks for everyone who joined. Thanks for your time and uh, you know, see you again soon. Cheerio.